Hi, welcome to the next assembly video for the RepRap Prusa Mendel Iteration 2. In this video, we're going to install the thermistor for the heat bed. Let's set this aside. Here's the thermistor. And here's the PT, um, here's the, uh, high heat resistant tubing. So to get started, I'm going to cut this tubing in half. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky, but you need to slide the copper wires through the tubing. One on each side. This will just keep the wires from touching each other. Slide them all the way up to the top. Okay, and then we'll need a piece of wire. Use your wire strippers to take a little bit of the sheathing off of either side. Might as well do the other side right now. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to um, solder these on here. You can use a little bit of uh, heat shrink. Okay, and these um, these wires are a little longer than I need them to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim them. I'll go ahead and heat up the soldering iron. Important to have a uh, you know a wet sponge or something like that when you solder. <clears throat> I don't have a sponge, so I'm just using um, a wet uh, cotton paper towel. First thing you need to do is prime your iron, and then prime the wires. Just put uh, one thin coat of uh, solder on each on each end of the wire that are going to be soldered. Okay. Now this is not um, the polarity on these uh, do not matter. So uh, first I'm going to put a big piece of heat shrink on this wire. And then I'll, the smaller pieces on each end of this, on these wires here. Okay, and then go ahead and, and uh, solder these, solder these on. Start with uh, If you um, if you want, you can always use a set of helping hands. Okay, 
my, my set of helping hands is put away, so I don't feel like going out and getting them. I'm also used to doing this on the end of the table. It's a little bit more difficult when I'm trying to make a video. Well, you probably can't see it anyway. When you're soldering, you want to make sure that um, um, that you don't move the wires while it's while it's um, cooling. That's um, usually what gives you a weak connection, so you want to make sure not to move it. But, uh, anyway. Terrible time with this. Okay, actually, I figured out where my helping hands were. So I'm going to go ahead and use these. Should help out quite a bit here. What a difference that makes. Sheesh.
what a difference these helping hands make. That is unbelievable. Okay. Those feel pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, heat up this heat shrink. Please don't judge my soldering skills. I know I'm an amateur. So the PTFE tubing um, looks pretty good. So there we go, the thermostore is ready for installation. So to install this, I'm going to go ahead and um, set the RepRap upside down for part of it here. So this will need to go back this way. And um, so we have the hole there in the center of the MDF. This is going to go down through. So what I like to do is I like to stick it straight down through the hole. I need to make sure that it's touching the uh, heat bed. In this case it is, and it stops about right here. So I noted that it stopped um, that while the thermistor is touching the heat bed, the wire stops at the, at the bottom of the MDF board about right here. So I'm just going to bend it. Okay. This will sort of make it somewhat flexible. So when you put it in, you want there to be a little bit of pressure. Okay, that's perfect right there. So um, all you do, now there's different ways, like I said, that you can mount this, but I'm just gonna use some, uh, some uh, masking tape. And I'm just going to Tape down the wire, like so. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the wire to keep it from, from drooping or anything. I don't usually like to use tape for things, but the tape does, does work pretty well for this application. Um, I've thought about designing um, a plastic part, perhaps, that you could you could use to clamp it down over the hole, and uh, I think one of these days I will I will get around to doing that. But problem is, is that every time I use tape, the tape seems to work just fine, so I never bother to <laughs> to change what I do here. But anyway, so I can show you on the side. Um, I'm going to run this wire now through these uh, holes that we made earlier. And that will run to the electronics. All right. And then just to try to help you see this, I'm going to set this on its side here. And I'm not sure if you can see down the crack here between the heat bed and the MDF bed. But um, uh, I can see that the thermistor is um, going through the hole in the center of the MDF board and resting against the bottom side of the heat bed. And it is making contact. So I will know that when it reads the temperature, it actually is reading the temperature of the bed and not just the air underneath the bed. It's important that it touches. 
And you can see, if you can see, it's also sort of bent. And that's because um, when I bent it at the, at the top here before I went through the hole, I made sure it was a little bit longer. So to give it sort of a spring action on that copper wire. And that'll that'll make sure that it's that it's that it's always tensioning against the heat bed. So that could that should give me a good contact there to um, to measure the temperature of the bed with. Um, at this point, if you'd also like to, it is optional to put um, some felt in here to act as an insulator. Um, you could do it at any step. You, know, you could do it uh, before you do this, or you could go ahead and cut some cut some squares out and shove them in there now. So whichever you prefer. I'm just going to leave it um, uninsulated. Okay, but that is it. That is the thermistor for the heat bed. And this will get connected to the electronics later. Thanks for watching.